Hi, I am Pixelpedia. Today, we're going to talk about language models when it comes to AI. And the first one we are going to take a look at is ChatGPT. But before we even look at ChatGPT, I want to talk a little bit about some important things when you use a model like this. The first one is that not every piece of information you get is correct. It is always necessary to check the information, to do some kind of verification and to show you how misleading it can be. I asked ChatGPT, who is Pixelpia on YouTube? Of course, I knew that ChatGPT wouldn't have much information about me since I am such a small channel. I also knew that for ChatGPT specifically, the cutoff year of the information is 2021. So everything I have done on my channel during 2022 and this year will not be available information for ChatGPT. So let's take a look at those screenshots. So here we have the very first screenshot. And as you can see, the answer was Pixel PA is a YouTuber who creates tutorials for beginners about social media, as well as a blogger, podcaster, and teacher. She's also a Swedish native who currently lives in the United States. So far, everything is correct. Then. ChatGPT goes on her YouTube channel is called Pixel Pia and she has another channel called Pixel Pia and DJ Live where she and her husband share their DJing experiences. Most of this is correct, but DJ is a friend of mine and not at all my husband. And we did not talk about the DJing experience. So, as you can see, we have to fact check the answers we get from chat. Another very important aspect is how you formulate your questions. The more details in your questions, the better responses you will get. But let's take a quick look at what you actually can do using chat. GPT. So let's move over to my computer. Here we are. And let me first say this will look a little bit different than what your chat is because I have installed a couple of extensions for chat GPT in my Google Chrome. For today, we are doing this very simple. Let's take a look at what we actually can get from chat GPT. And the first thing is ChatGPT can help us learn things. So let's ask, can you teach me some simple songs to play on guitar? I have no knowledge about how to play. The answer is not what we wished. As you can see, get a guitar, learn some basic chords, practice blah, 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 blah. That's not what I asked it for. And this shows how important it is to ask the right questions. So let's follow up and say, can you teach me how to play Stairway to Heaven on guitar? And let's see if we get a better answer this time. Familiarize yourself with the song, learn the chords, the chords used in Stairway to Heaven are A minor, C, D, F, G, and E minor. You can find tutorials on how to play chords online or in a guitar book. Practice the chord, practice the finger picking pattern, put it all together and practice, practice, practice. So let's follow up again. How do I play those chords? And as you see, ChatGPT, remember what you asked? and just continue answering. A minor, and it says, place your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Your middle finger on the second fret of the third string, 
and your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. So let's ask them, when you say four string, do you count from top or bottom? And here it tells me we're referring to strings on the guitar. The strings are typically numbered from the thinnest string, the one closest to the ground, to the thickest. So in the case of A minor chord, when I say place your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string, I'm referring to the fourth string from the thinnest string. Okay, so that is clarified. Okay, so give me the chords for the song again. And here we have them exactly as they are we have to look at here where it told us how to play the different chords and here we have them for each verse so learning is definitely one aspect of chat gpt let's start a new chat here let's say that i want to lose some pounds for the summer i want to lose some weight can you give me a meal plan here i got a very very general now i can be more specific i am five foot one inch tall i am allergic to tomatoes and exercise moderate can you refine the plan and here we get a refined plan breakfast mid-morning snack, lunch, etc. Can you make a five-day plan? And it does that. And as I said, the more specific you are in your question, the better answer you will get. Maybe you want to add an exercise program to this in combination. Maybe you want to define how many calories you want to eat per day and so forth. But this is ways you can help with your well-being the third thing that i like is say we are going on vacation i am going on vacation to philadelphia suggest some family friendly activities so visit philadelphia zoo absolutely liberty bell of course if you're there franklin institute if you have kids it's almost a must. But Philadelphia is a big city. Let's say I am going to vacation in August to a small island in Sweden called Gräsö. What do you suggest I do there? Let's say Gräsö is a very small island. Enjoy the beaches, absolutely. Hiking and biking, absolutely. Kayaking, fishing, excellent suggestion on a tiny, tiny little place up in Sweden. So it doesn't matter where you're going. The next thing I want to share with you is, here we have from Pew Research Center, an article about AI, artificial intelligence, and the future of humans. A rather long and complicated article. I can copy that URL and let's start a new chat here and ask, can you summarize this article? And then I put the URL in there. And here we go. The article discussed the potential impact of artificial intelligence on human society in the future. Okay, can you write five main points as a list? Okay, here we have the five main points from the article. I want to send this article to a friend and suggest they read it and then contact me. Can you draft a friendly email? And here we go. Subject, an interesting article on AI and the future humans. Hi, and friend's name. Can you include the link? And here we go. Here is the link to the article. Perfect. If you don't want to read the article or don't have time, but you still want someone else's information and input on the article, you can summarize it, put down the five most important points, and then have ChatGPT draft an email for and the last thing we're going to do today is more for fun and creative. 
Can you write me a poem about a lonely cat? Here we go. In a quiet corner of the house, a lonely cat sits all alone. With nothing to do, nowhere to go, just waiting for someone to come home. She meows softly, but no one hears as she curls up in a little ball. Her fur are all fluffed up, her eyes filled with tears. Feeling forgotten, feeling small. Can you write this as a haiku? And here we have an haiku about the lonely cat. Lonely cat awaits, silent house echoes with meows, longing for a friend. So that was a few examples on how you can use a language model AI for daily problems or your interests. In my next video, we're going to take a closer look at ChatGPT, Google's Bard, and Microsoft's Bing Chat. And do a little comparison between these three language models. How they are similar and how they are different. And if that is something that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. So you get notified and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment. Maybe there is something specific when it comes to AI that you would like me to talk about. Bye.